What's going on? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. We're looking at the brand new record from Waves, entitled Hideaway, which they released on July 16th. This is the seventh studio album from the band. It is their follow-up to 2017's You're Welcome. Kudos to Nathan Williams for keeping this thing together now for over a decade, especially when you consider the first few years of this band's existence. It was rough to watch. It was really sad, and you just you didn't know what was going to happen because Waves blew up with two incredible records back-to-back, their debut record and their sophomore album are remarkable if you've never listened to them. And where you listen to those records and you get this, you know, angsty, passionate punk on those albums, you go to see them live and you just got a pugnacious drunk hooligan. And it didn't go well. It, I mean, it was almost kind of like, are these guys going to be the new libertines? It felt like Pete Doherty was just trying to come out of, you know, nowhere to pass Nathan Williams the torch. Like, get out of here with that. Thankfully, they survived. Thankfully, Nathan mellowed out. They found some stability in their lineup over the last three or four records. And I love what they're doing with their sound these days, really focusing more on the garage rock and mod rock, surf rock element of their sound, not as much as the pop element, which I dig. There's, I, I would argue that you know where albums before had you know better hooks and bigger hooks, the album does kind of suffer in a little bit in that regard because of the focus on, uh, you know, just keeping that lo-fi, you know, basically punk rock sound throughout this project. But I love the energy on it. I love the continuity of tracks. You get a couple of uh, songs that slow it down, you know, halfway through and to close it off in Honeycomb and Caviar. I really dig those tracks. They're kind of divisive. I've heard different opinions uh, from good to not so good on those. But there's this clever doo-wop element, I think, that's incorporated into both of those tracks. They make for uh, just good breaks as far as the energy that's driving this record because it, it comes out big through hell, opens with urgency and energy to the drive. I really like the song Hideaway. It's got this mellow verse, big chorus, great guitars. And that's another great point here on this record is Williams brought in Dave Sitek from TV on the radio to produce this record. And the sound on this record benefits truly from his involvement on it. There's just nice you know, layers, good textures that he incorporates into the sound. And he does it without compromising the integrity of that lo-fi feel that the Waves have always tried to go for. So I, I'm really just digging you know, where he's at his, from a production standpoint, what he contributed musically on this record. I mean, he really was just on the same page with Nathan in this uh, project, and it's fun to listen to for that reason as well. Help is on the way. It's really just got this uh, great acoustic feel that kind of reminded me of anything off of Warning from Green Day, but then great riff work. Uh, lots of lots of great guitar work on this album as well. I'll, I'll note that also. Really liking the the driving surf guitar on a lot of those riffs throughout this record. Uh, you know, just really well written riffs, well incorporated into the music. I'm digging what Nathan's got going on as far as that. Sinking feeling is the fourth track on this record. Uh, just a really solid surf rock jam. Absolutely loving it. Honeycomb got that slow doo wop start, but then ends big. It's a great way to kind of turn this album around into the song The Blame, which has got this uh, just wonderful rockabilly feel to it. Excellent guitar work on that song as well. Marine Life, Planting a Garden kind of gives this uh, Weezer vibe, uh, especially as far as the, the lyrics uh, that, are <laughs> that are focused on a young woman named Susie and the, uh, the jilted lover that is uh, just not having a, a good time with Susie and her uh, wishy-washy feelings towards him. Kind of a uh, Kind of a fun song. I love the, the feel to it. And then this thing closes with Caviar. It's got this just solid doo-wop feel. It's really a nice way to, to you know, close off what is a pretty robust, hard, energetic 29 minutes of music. So while I, I will say that, again, the one thing that is kind of lacking is, um, you know, those kind of like big, really solid melodies and vocal hooks that you've seen on previous Waves record, I'm liking what's going on on this record. It's great effort after four years. Uh, a little on the short side, too. But, you know, you think about what they're doing, especially with the mod rock. I mean, the, the style, it's, it's built out of punk rock. You're not, you're not going to get a lot of songs that are built into the four or five minute range. You really are looking in between that two to three and a half minute range. It's just what it is. I love it. I'm loving this record. Vinyl Please, The Waves, and Hideaway. I hope you find this review helpful. Enjoy listening to this record as well. Like this video. Share it. Check out the live show when it returns on September 12th. Got lots of album reviews coming in the meantime. We'll see you next time on the Beat Sessions.